Today I'm making kitfo, a traditional Ethiopian beef tartare which I serve with lemon aioli sauce, flaxseed paste and crispy potatoes. Kitfo is a popular dish in Addis Ababa, served mainly in the markets. It's seasoned with clarified butter and spices. I use an Ethiopian spice blend called chow, which I make myself from 15 different spices. We're in my home in South Tel Aviv. I was born here in Israel to parents who immigrated from Ethiopia. For them, it was always important to keep me connected to my roots, so I studied Amharic from a young age. Through the language, I learned a lot about my ancestors' heritage, culture, and food. It became a big part of my life, especially when I started creating art, inspired mostly by Ethiopian culture. At some point, I started exploring the Ethiopian cuisine as well. The beginning was challenging. Ethiopian food's very elegant and delicious, but at the same time, conservative. At first, I just made smaller dishes and plated them fancier. But as I dove deeper, I gained more experience and confidence. That's when I realized I'm interested in reconstructing this kitchen, creating a contemporary version, bringing it closer to my world. I'm serving my kitfo over injera, Ethiopia's staple flatbread made of teff flour. The traditional injera is much larger and serves as a plate for stews that are placed over it. I wanted to break down injera into smaller pieces. When I cook for people, I offer them a story as well, a story served in many little bites. My plating and cooking techniques might not be traditional, but the Ethiopian flavors are very distinct. I want people to feel the story in their taste buds.